morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Vita Plan for what I assume is to be the second and probably the last episode regarding the Aussie Factory. But last time we met um, the hero among the war ghouls, so who knows? The war ghouls, when, uh, well, supported by the Ventru, who awe me and, uh, well, for some reason, then make me stand in front of the war ghoul instead of looking at the Ventru, and I thought they were vain enough for that. Oh well. Uh, they, uh, oh. Hello. You two are dead. And, uh, well, what happened here? I have room for it because I gave myself, uh, well, let my quarry members, better say, take everything. Hey, hello. Very nice. You are coming here. You know what? I will trigger you as well. And follow me into this area. Because I don't want to go too far ahead because I know there's a war goal over there. And uh, the war ghouls. Well, they are the real killers of the Venture. Not the Venture themselves. Yes, all is a bit annoying. Like I'm now standing still and my powers cannot be used. I wish I could resist that a little better. But probably if I could, then the game would be too easy. So, I mean, in the sense I can understand. And, you know what? You want to go long distance? I can go long distance. Hi. I, uh, thank you for playing. Hmm. I see a lot of stuff. I see a second warble even. Alright. Are we going to continue with what we just did? We should have activated that warble. And we did. Didn't think I would do that now, did ya? That war goal is probably a bit too far for lightning. I triggered one of them. Hmm. It's so nice that with blood of potency, mm, prison of ice like takes no blood whatsoever. Why would you increase your blood pool? All you need is blood potency. Oh, despite this having been turn dialed before in the, uh, well, in the mission that was so stealthy that not even YouTube saw it. What the heck? I don't know what happened there. Um, so stealthy that not even YouTube could see it because of, well, I mean, uh, recording ever. Uh, those things were, well, we had to, uh, well, give them a little uh, tuck and then will open up a new way, but here it doesn't seem to do anything. We are getting plasma bags. Normally that has been the way of the game saying, like, yo, the toughness is going to be ramped up in a moment. All the blood you used. Well, now you're going to uh, replenish that. Level 3. And immediately we see it's a Mitzi. But because of the way the camera pans, I can't see... I assume it's going to come down here now, yeah. Hi. How did you just use that if I just took away your Vita? Oh. Let's just net second guess that and just attack. One shot, one kill. Well, actually, one swing, one kill, huh? After all, I'm not shooting. I am a manly man. I get up in your face and show you what we Bruja can all do. Uh, you guys are not guarding a lot, so it seems. But, uh, well, let's get food fortitude on, I mean, sorry. Wrong main there. Wow. You are jumped. How did you even miss that shotgun, man? I am a uh, shotgun shot. I mean, I was standing right in front of you. Well, actually, it doesn't matter that you were using a shotgun, though. It has, tends to, if it has a buckshot, it will be a pellet spread, so it will be even harder to miss than versus a normal pistol, but still, it's both quite bad that you missed. Another crossbow. Another this. 
Uh, a war ghoul coming my way. I don't like that. Oh, ow. Yeah, that's why I don't like that. Because Risen Up Ice don't take a while to actually take into effect. Oh, but it's, uh, it's not Prison of Ice that takes a while to take effect. It's the casting time that is a little bit long. Which is what also calls the floor for, well, the epic kill of the hero. Woo -hoo. I still think, however, it is the best way to deal with them. We'll have to see which way is the best way to go. Ah, well, oh, this time we see that the animation is actually complete up into the top. That was kind of funny. we never even seen that before. And even with Fortitude on, as we now have, these blows of these war ghouls are like really the only thing that really do a ton of damage. Or you must have one of those, uh, well, pyrotechnic shotguns. Also kind of hurt. Armor. Oh, it's an armor shirt. Oh, well. We'll ask the coloring members in a moment to pick it all up. Hello. I think that it's actually a Tsumitsi boss. Been a while since we've seen you. That was, uh... This or that castle since we've seen guys like you. Oh no, you were just as close to me, see. And a little bit more of a sensible nature about you. Grab some clothes on. I say we first are going to go up the staircase. I want to pick up as many things as I can. And I will distribute it later. Oh! I can't even attack. Oh, that's because I'm odd. I missed that. Oh, I am so... So over that. I wouldn't mind this if I was able to do the same thing, but you know, let's just show. Yeah? Feed, it's a level free. <laughs> oh game, oh game, oh game. You're trying to make me look like a fool, don't you? Yes. Uh, let him go, let him go. We'll use first this ability, then we'll use No, because it can't, because we've been old. Yes. Yeah, you know, I knew a very good place where you can go and try and improve your marksmanship. There are, like, ranges everywhere. It's in America. Oh, wait, second, we're already there. No, that was not a gym in America at all. I am not... What are you talking about? I don't understand some of the things in America. I must admit that. It may be because I am Dutch and our laws are, like, completely different. But... Uh, I know that it is within uh, the constitutional law that people may have guns because that still stems from the time that uh, from England I just walked around the corner because I walked too far as uh, well more or less I got screwed by my own speed but uh, yeah I know that it's in the, in the Constitution of America that uh, every citizen is allowed to have uh, uh, guns which actually stems from the time that they were doing their independence war against England so it's a little bit how shall I put it outdated and it has caused so many trouble for America here. Why the hell would you do that? Also interesting to know that they stop immediately of attacking. Where I, I would do this with my quarter, remember? They would not consider anything like that. Oh my lord. They're not gonna kill me. Don't get me wrong, but this is just taking longer than necessary. I'll just stop with that gazes and die already. See? Wasn't that now so hard? And if you're saying, but we won't want, don't want to die, well then you should have not fought on the other side. Also, I am still completely baffled, and I haven't even talked about this yet, that Ventu are on the side of the Sabbat. It's like, you are the Camarilla, more or less. It, it feels to me very, very inappropriate, or it, it, it just... Out of sort. Now, of course, there are always exceptions to the rule, don't get me wrong. Just like the Cappadocians are supposedly dead, but they aren't actually, as there are still some Cappadocians alive. Working for the Giovanni, they're uh, the ones that actually killed them, but. Yeah! I guess there are also Vinsu that. Ooh, rocket launcher. That will sell for a lot of money. 
Oh, this is just a chest that's up here that was the prize. Alright. So I guess we need to go below here then. To the abyss. No, these are just chests. So I need to go up, over, and then under. That is... Who would build a factory this way? This is really difficult to get from one side to the other. That is like nonsense. Like why is there a door in between here? Uh, really, if you want your factory to work with a little bit more efficiency, you should have... I should not have walked around that corner, by the way. I can see some Venturu coming up. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a war ghoul around this area as well. I can see some more loot on the way, but... Uh, no, we would like to have those Eyes of the Beast just for the fact that we can see without. We can... We have so many buffs that we can turn on. I almost uh, wanted to, to open a box first, apparently, for the game, which is logical. I probably clicked there, but... Yeah, that's not what I wanted. I must say, the transformed uh, Venture are like the ones that can actually deal a blow. Do we have Ice and the Beast on? Yes, we do, but for some reason we cannot see in this darkness. Yeah, come on. Wow. That was just my idea, you see. I, I mean, I totally whiffed on those hits. Don't get me wrong. I, uh, I don't uh, blame the game for that. I'll, uh, get, get, wow. Hello. Can I? Can I? Thank you. Thank you. You are not very mm, polite guests. I thought it was supposed to be a party around here, but I haven't seen anything that would even hint remotely close that there is a party going on around here. Oh, unless you want to call it a party of death. <laughs> oh, 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 well that was by the worst joke I could make. <laughs> Write that down to probably my worst joke in my uh, YouTube career so far. We're not going to take away take with us a steak because they're pointless. Are you full up there? Yes, you are. Can you take it with you? Willem? No, everybody is getting rot. He could take it with him if it, his inventory didn't get reshoveled from the time that I see. Uh, hold on, I need to think here. This goes there, there, there. Thank you. Uh. Sometimes it's just like uh, with when you open Microsoft Word, like you want a capital letter because you just put a point here. No, it's an abbreviation. It doesn't need capital letters. In fact, that is wrong. Yeah, but you put a point there. Just, just, just shut up. But then, no. I know you can turn it off, by the way, but then other things happen again. That Sometimes computers think they're smart, but they're actually not that smart. What is this? That oh, that's a leaden pipe. We don't want a leaden pipe. They are quite pointless, to be honest. What we do want is that rocket launcher, that sweet, sweet rocket launcher over here. If only for the money. Because I think that's what's going to be it. Because I don't really want to buy it. It has a ton of damage. And I, uh, I uh, skipped over that the last time, but 250 uh, 50 damage. Yoza. Uh, yeah, I saw it in the shop, but I'm really afraid. And I, because I just, uh, and I said skipped over it. Because, well, I didn't show you all the shopping stuff that I did because I thought, well, that's just a thing that we can skip ahead a bit of. And not really fun to just see me click on things and just sell, 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 sell. But uh, yeah, ooh, another one of those. Um, you're probably starting to soon to have to figure out what we're going to take with us and what we're not going to take with us. But seeing we are in the end game, I'm not going to probably do a whole run back to the. Um, Town in order to sell everything because something tells me that is not really required anymore. And like we are soon to find the end end game, and I do not really want to uh, 
length. Well, actually, we need to go outside anyways, I just realized, because we will need to go to Vukon. Then I might do it off camera, just sell whatever and buy whatever I can find. Perhaps go in and out of shops to see if I can reset their inventory? I might just do that. We'll have to see about that. No, I... <laughs> also, one of the things I've discussed in the very, very in the beginning of the game. Just step aside, don't go... Oh, still rags. Wow. Well, guess they're popular. Factory level 4. And then we end up in, uh, well, what is supposedly a normal factory part before we run up and come to a non-usual factory part. But these are all the doors we came out first, I think. Interesting. I think I see. Where is Orzy himself? This looks like an office for a venture. Or for any, uh, well, boss of a factory, don't get me wrong, but... There he is! I was already wondering. Cottery! Attend me. Attend me. You and I, we have some uh, things to discuss, Mister. Let's loose thy wrath. Offensive stands. Let's get ready. Get in here, all of you. I'm sure that the cutscene will get it done, but nonetheless, let's talk to. Mm, Tonight we build a great silver statue in his honor. And into it we shall place the power of the most ancient blood. By this ritual shall we rule. So, it is you. We haven't forgotten your deeds in Vienna, Orsi. Yes, my soul. The Bruja. Could it be? A Katarina's brood? How extraordinary! Wilhelm, and what was your name again, lad? Mark my name well, Orsi. For the devil will wish to know who delivered thee into his cheerless realm. Tell the devil thou wert dispatched from Earth by Christoph Romul. Christoph Romul! whose soul he shall never possess, as long as there is hope beyond all hope in this world. Well, I remember you now, Crusader. You eliminated some competition for me in the old days. That tedious La Sombra judgment. <laughs> oh, I remember as if it was yesterday. You escaped my dungeon, you naughty boys. <laughs> we apologize for not killing you then. We'll make up for it today. With a gallon of blood for every drop you've spilled from Alexandra. Ooh, your hate is so delicious. My children, I'll make up for it in a far more valuable treasure than my home. Blood. This is a new era, full of opportunities we could only begin to imagine in the Dark Ages. Then, I thought power came from the church. That's why I had you kill Luther Black. Then times changed, and power grew from the temporal government. But do you know where power really comes from? Huh? You bore me, businessman. Everyone knows that corporations rule today. Wrong! <laughs> All mortal power is fleeting. A new age is about to begin. An age where we kingly are restored to rulership of the world. An age undreamed it begins now, tonight, at the eve of a new millennium. <laughs> the new millennium doesn't begin for another year. 2001, 
Oh, hush. We know what we're doing. Just think, Crystal. An eternity of perfect power with no antediluvians to keep us in check. Hmm? So, thou art in league with the Fiend. Where is Vukodwak? Oh, you are so judgmental. Vukodlak acts on our behalf. If he does not, your antediluvian grandsire will rise up and drag you into the grave. But Vukodlak can pull them up first and feed upon them. And who will stop him then? Stop him! He'll share power with you. He'll restore our rightful heritage as the true gods of the earth. I can get you a place at the table with him. Your old friend has joined him willingly, and you can too. What was her name? The little nun? Heska. That was it. No. <gasps> oh! Uh, that one weird. Um, we went from all of a sudden talking to an immediate combat and Count Ozzy. If you ever think I would accept that offer, you were mistaken. Oh! <laughs> I like that death scene. That is a very awesome one, I must say. So, Aneshka will be there. Why am I not surprised? Oh, and I was just about to talk. I see his three children standing down there. The ladies that were so impressed with me back in the day. Oh dear. And we just killed Papa. I doubt they will be pleased. So we have a ton of experience. The problem every time is with a cutscene is that all your powers are gone. It is really, really annoying. Hmm. 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 It stood in the manual that wits is the one required to um, counter such attacks on uh, like awe and stuff. But there were also some things that uh, well, were counter checks for charisma and appearance manipulation. I wish I would have read the dominant manual. I think what we're going to do is I am going to end the episode. I'm going to go home and upgrade and sell every little bit. If there's a conversation with the ladies, I will do that in the next episode before I go home. Because I did see his three children stand there. Zeta and... Lily? Uh, no, not Lily. Lily is the one with us. I can't remember. One of them was Zeta. And, uh... Well, then we'll spend all of this experience. And of course, then again, I will show you where I put it in. But for now, I'm just not really sure. And, uh, well, stunted the episode more or less. Anyways, uh, well, we're, we're, we're a bit short. Oh, I don't really know. I'm thinking of putting up all these three. Like... Do it like this, but that takes up a lot of experience. And the, the fact of the matter is, though, if you put up this free, I, we would definitely increase our stuff. But do we really need to increase blood dexterity? Isn't 100 the cap? I wonder if that is useful at all. Nah, I don't think it's useful. And we really don't need feed. I, I need a thing, but we might just increase strength to 100, for instance. Just make sure that our blows come in heavily. And uh, probably get into Dominic. And get Majesty for us. I think Majesty would be a really, really good one for us. Oh well, I say I thank you for watching and remember, great pearl, you to dream beauty.